right, everybody. Hello, my name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the fifth round of the Galactic Championship. We're here at Coruscant. This is the finale. We're going to find our Galactic Champion. I'm super excited here, and I'm joined by my very good friend. I am Ryan Farmer. The one That's me. and the only Ryan Farmer. Now we're I'm about sure there are more. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There may be many, but this one's mine. Okay. That's true. That's, that's, that's <laughs> now, under every, contract with Gold Squadron for this weekend. That's right. Now, for uh, for everybody out there, we're going to break down these lists in a second. But before we do that, I want to remind you that this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Curled Park Creatives. Use that coupon code Coruscant2020 for 20% off. Brian, let's go ahead and break down these lists. Let's talk about Thomas Schultz running another the wedge for two streams in a row with crack shot afterburners and uh, S foils stapled on. Han Solo with trick shot Kane and Jarrus and Jake Farrell with Predator crack shot. He had some really really good success um, in the qualifiers with this squad and it's a good one. Um, or at least I don't know. If, I think Thomas ran the same squad, but this squad exactly was saw really good success. No, yeah, it was it was him. It, it was him. Oh, I thought so. I thought yeah. so. Yeah, we talked about it on our cast. And it is a really good one. And then we've got Steve Catillo running three Alpha Squadron pilots and Rear Admiral Shiranu with Swarm Tactics, Death Troopers, Sloan, Agile Gunner, Hull Upgrade, and Dauntless. Worth noting that this squad saw a bit of a drop-off once Nantex became the big baddie. Mm -hmm. But now that the Nantex have kind of seen a, a dip, seen a nerf, very intelligent of Steve to go back to the squad, which was honestly dominating Sloan squads before uh, the Nantex came on and, you know, destroyed everyone's life. What do you think about that, Dion? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is... The the Sloan trigger here is fantastic. And also the com the combination... This is a little bit of a twist. I'm not sure if you noticed there. The Death Troopers on... Uh, on rack absolutely can be devastating during the activation phase enemy ships at range zero to one cannot remove stress tokens that can really hurt ships like wedge or jake who uh who are trying to relieve the stress either to create sh a space or um if uh if you can't for instance get rid of your stress after doing a k turn you're you're taking away action potential you're taking away maneuverability um it can really hurt now i don't think it's going to be a huge deal for han because he has those passive rerolls from his ability but uh we'll see how they can leverage it now of course that stress giving the offensive bonus to the friendly ships in the empire list could be huge especially against a one agility uh han solo but uh han is just really really good it's a very consistent ship and i will tell you we talked about wedge being bait right there is there is a game where catch plays uh plays absolutely fantastic and wedge's job in that in that engagement when it when it happened the, during I, th I think it was Mustafar, I think it might have been Mustafar or the or the or Ryloff before that, where he used Wedge as bait and it worked perfectly. It allowed Han to, to get into position, and uh, absolutely masterful masterful use of Jake throughout the game as well. We'll see how he uses it. But you can see that uh, Steve is going strong into the fight. And uh, we're going to have an engagement here probably in the next turn or two. I had already, uh, I believe, opened the Choose Your Champion poll. I'll double check that. Did I? I'm starting to doubt myself now. I did not. If, Let's open up the betting right now. The betting is open. Get your bets in now. If there's a ship that you want to destroy things, for if you're Thomas, it's Han. Because he has the Force with Kanan. Mm -hmm. Right. And Kanan can um, remove stress from the ship. Actually, this Kanan is a really good, like, light counter here for Sloan, right? Yeah. Um, Dion, how does Kanan now uh, interact with Death Troopers? I believe he cannot remove the stress from those Death Troopers if they are in that bubble. That's Correct. zero to one bubble. Yeah, it's just, it, it, if you are in zero to one and it's the activation phase, no way, Jose, not happening. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to have some really interesting range control happening here. 
Yeah, Ketch is um, going to have to keep his distance for sure. And obviously, Rack, large base, can uh, wants to get up in people's grill. Has Dauntless title. Uh, Dauntless after you partially execute a maneuver. So basically, when you bump, you still get actions. Uh, you have to treat yep. it as red. But, I mean, if you're, if you're getting shots, who cares? Oh, absolutely. Who cares, right? It's good stuff. Now, one of the things I want to look at here is uh, the, the point spread. You have Rack. Rack is 106 points. That is over half of the list for Steve versus uh, Han, who's also pretty hefty, but is underneath that threshold of 95. Now, depending on where we end up later in the game, if it's a Han versus Rack uh, off, if you have both the large bases ahead, um, you know, if both of them are alive at the end of the game, the, the game goes to Steve. So we have to watch out to see uh, how that ends up going out. And we have our first Steve. shots of the game. Yeah, I think Han will probably... Where's he going? Looks like... What do, they, what do these look like? Oh, he's rolling on the board? Yeah, they're, they're, they'll fix it. Yeah. Here we go. So Han got that trick shot up, don't forget. Yep. Four dice. Think you maybe Han reroll all of them? Yeah. Yep. He's got that. Ooh, Only one. Brutal. Only one. Not what you want to see out of Mr. Solo. But unlikely shot here anyway, going after that interceptor. He's rolling five dice. Getting two. Now even even with that original the roll of the yeah. three hits wouldn't have got anything. So yeah, no exactly. feels bad there. All right, nothing there. Just one uh, alteration to a crit using Rack's ability. All right, looks like they're playing patty cake this opening round. No damage yeah, yet. They're just, you know, scoping each other out as they do. Bets are still open, by the way. I'm going to let it open for the rest of uh, this engagement. And again, just one hit. Rack does get a die. Yep. Absolutely. And get evades out of it. Wow, nice. So no damage this turn. None. So I don't think the interceptors have uh, arc or range on anybody. Ooh, maybe green. No, nothing. Right. Wow. We're, we're back to uh back to the planning phase. Now, looking at the incoming uh, wagers from our viewers, which, by the way, uh, we're, we're going to leave the uh, the bets open until the end of this planning phase. Right now, there is a 59% favorite uh, on Thomas's side, a.k.a. Ketch. He's known as Ketch in the uh, online right. community. And sure. uh, Steve right now with 41% of the bets, uh, 821,000 points in the pool. By the way, we did talk about it. Today we're doing our Choose Your Champion contest, okay? So whoever ends up with the most points at the end of today is going to get a free GSP T-shirt. So just a no little little bit of fun looking at our points right now. Looks like Mr. Rocker Crocker is actually on top right now uh, with Bigfoot Bundy in a close second place place what do you got bigfoot bundy thank you to glaive leader all right this positioning ryan who do you think it favors oh man tough to say uh i like i like both i, I kind of like where they both are at but honestly steve is in really good position to just dunk on jake if jake's not careful jake should really consider doing a three hard to the left and boosting out um where that debris is, Han has some flexibility to also maybe do a too hard to the right mm -hmm. here um, and start broadsiding some of this and getting around the rest of the squad. Uh, and Wedge, as usual here, needs to be very, very cautious. So honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I think I, well, I think they both have options, and it, it very much depends on what what their game plans are. Right. I mean, I think if does Steve want to go very aggressive and chase Jake here? 
I think you go very, very, very aggressive with these alphas. And if Jake flies away, you're still en route to attack Wedge. Agreed. I'm in. I am 100% in. You're not 90% in? You're 100%? I'm 100% in. No diggity, wow. no doubt, baby. No diggity or doubt. That is a that's a big claim from <laughs> from you, Dion. But you gotta you go know? big or go home. That that's you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I feel like, especially in X Wing, we can find ourselves um, if we're, if we're going to commit to a plan. If we have a plan, I think you have to commit to it because you have a lot of times where you could, if you end up being aggressive with some ships and not with others in a certain situation where you have the opportunity to go all in, you could end up really easily leaving a ship out to dry. And I've seen I've seen so many ships just die, just fade away into the sunset because their their pilot decided to like, oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna kind of angle ourselves a little bit this way if maybe we have a shot but and then you end up leaving somebody out to dry and it's it's yeah, sad. yeah, yeah, yeah. no exactly i agree with you um 100 so look at look at these interceptors being very aggressive here getting into it yeah they want it all or nothing all right anyway they want to they want you know they want the promotion they want to have a family you know, they, they want the car, they want the house, they want the mortgage, the pension, the, the retirement. All the, you got to do is sur survive, survive your service in the Empire. Yeah, survive your service in the Empire, and you too, Alpha Squadron pilot, can, can't have it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jake saying, nope, I'm three-harding. by Jake here. Saying, if I was an RZ2, I'd shoot you out the back, but I can't. Yet. No, these RZ ones have really bad guns. No rotating. They're just janky. Can't get them to work. We, we just we just got to get them in the shop. Just got to get them in the shop. We'll get those things to turn eventually. I mean, it's canonical. Uh, yeah, they, Come on, FFG, it, you'll do it. I, I don't know, man. It's canonical that they suck and that they couldn't uh, get them to work. So. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. 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 <laughs> Maybe you got a limited number of charges or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you roll a crit, you blow up. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just die. You just dead man switch. <laughs> now don't forget though, Jake might not be very useful against these interceptors, but he's pretty useful against Rack. Oh yeah. So I really like what Ketch is doing to get him on the flank here. And if those interceptors ignore Jake, Jake's gonna put at least one damage a turn into Rack for a while. This is a good spot for Han. He's going to dunk on that green. Or try to, at least. Let's see what Wedge does. Wedge might have a range 3 shot on green, too, depending on how slow he went. Is Han... What's Han going to do? Is he going to boost? Lock? Lock's pretty good. Nice one bank there for Wedge. Let's see what he decides. Focus is good. Mm -hmm. Let me read what Sloan says. What was the question? I'm just reading Sloan real quick. Yeah. God, it's so easy to but that zero to three is like so inconsequential. Yeah, it's, it's very easy to do. Direction. Yeah. All right, but here we go. Yeah, we... Wedge has crack. Crack is active. Crack is active. It is a range. No, roll in the box. Roll in the box. Catch roll in the box. Doesn't count. Roll in the box. He rolled a hit and a crit. I don't know if they're you're gonna make them re-roll in the box. Yep. That's the rules. We re-roll in the box, oh, it's out the box. Got it. Has to roll in the box. It's the rule. Sorry, catch. You got to re-roll those. Ah, it works out. <laughs> Not punished. <hit> crit. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So has crack shot. Ooh. You spend the focus, but that's going to be crack and probably hit crit. Yeah, absolutely. You 100% crack it. Aaron crack it. Oh, he rolled too many dice. He rolled he did. too many dice because it was at range two. Got oh, only... that's going to be a dead interceptor. It's just gone. Crack, gone. Just, uh, well, gone. he has to think about it. He's got to think about it. The the Sloan double stress. Is he going to take it? 
Or is he just sure, going to do whatever. the two damage? You take it. He didn't have a choice. It was direct hit. It was direct hit anyway. Yeah, you just eat the stress, whatever. You're like, you just have to deal with it. It's fine. It's okay. But, he, but here's the thing. He didn't spend crack shot. He just it was hit crit double double damage. Oh, he didn't, he spend, didn't the spend the crack shot. shot. <laughs> well, I mean, both good and bad. I think he did want Han to maybe eat that because Han doesn't care about stress. Yeah. But I mean, whatever. You killed a ship and Han still gets to shoot. Mm hmm. True, true, true. I mean, you're okay with that if you're catch. It's fine. I love that this squad exists and that it's competitive, by the way, this rebel squad and this imperial squad. This is very thematic what we're what we've got going on here. So Han spends a force. And I think doesn't get any damage through. Now we have a couple of range three shots on wedge. That's a good roll. There we go. Hit crit crit. And he'll spend that focus, lose one shield. Hmm. Oh, crap. Next shot coming in. Two hits and a focus. Yep. Another shot in the wedge. Three. That's going to be three. He's taking it all. We got half points on wedge. Yeah, Wedge's probably dead next turn. We'll see what kind of damage he can do otherwise. Now, of course, the question is, did Wedge do enough? Did Wedge do enough going into this? Now, Han is in a spot where um, you know he, he really does have free reign. You got to remember, again, doesn't care about the stress. There are... All these debris clouds, the way because of the way that Kanan is worded, uh, it's after a friendly ship executes a maneuver. All right, so he can actually clear the stress from the debris. So that dial in this game is almost always completely 100% open, unless somehow Han is already stressed. Right. It's absolutely fantastic. It's uh, I love this squad. I would definitely put this on the table for sure. Who's got the advantage right now, Dion, in your mind right now? I mean, right now, obviously, the points are almost practically tied. 31, 32, slight favorite on uh, on Steven's side. But I'm, I'm thinking that positioning, it really does favor uh, Steve because you should be able to uh, to get wedged this turn without losing much. I think you could honestly get away without losing much. Um, and you still have a chunk of points. You, you haven't taken any damage on rack. Uh, and that damage race on the decimator is really what is telling uh, for the amount of time it takes to, to chew through them. So I, I, I'm leaning towards Steve, to be completely honest. You're leaning towards Steve. Interesting. Because I'm leaning towards catch. All right. All right. All right. One of us is going to be correct. <laughs> and it's probably the person who's got more hair. Uh, you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a haircut. I, it's probably I, I you. I legitimately have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know at all. <laughs> so we'll find out who has more hair at the end of this match. It's, it's true. All of it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, Death Troopers could be live with uh, with Rack getting in the business. We see the reinforce on Rack on the back, anticipating Jake coming in. And again, like I said, Jake, I think, will be clutch in this matchup. Now, remember, Jake did get uh, Death Trooper there, was not able to relieve the stress because of that upgrade. We got the sure one did. bank. Again, Death Troopers, zero to one, cannot get rid of the stress. Huh. 
Han coming in, doesn't have any stress, so Death Troopers are not going to trigger. But we've already seen right. th Death Troopers triggering this turn could be the difference in the game. Really could be. We'll find out. Yep, because you can't cane in it. Uh, you can't cane in the stress away if you're within zero to one. Uh, you can't do the blue maneuver. Nothing. Death Troopers are really, really good because there's – unless some other ability had, like, remove stress no matter what other abilities are on the board, which doesn't exist, um, you're, you're not getting rid of that. No, you're not. Not at all. So we did get the boost. Setting up a range one shot. I honestly, I think that just sets a better, better movement positions and avoids some blocking potential. Oh, it's, from it's the a win, 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 win everywhere happening yeah. right now. Yep. Now Han did take the the stress there, by the way, because of the boost. It's okay. It'll be fine. He doesn't necessarily need it. Like all of his mods, he's got the force. He's got his re rolls. Hit crit. This is going into the interceptor. Two dice. Nothing. It's going to decide. He does have a focus token. Could right. spend. Crack shot is live, though. Hit crit. Panic pilot. Yeah, he doesn't spend because, yeah, he could just get cracked off. Double How does it feel to take two stress? Interceptor, <laughs> how do you like it? This is yours. This is your pension from me. Range one into rack. That's three hits. Yeah, that's uh, real nice. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. That, this is not into rack. This is into the interceptor. Not enough dice to be racked. This is going into that yellow interceptor. Has a focus token. Not going to matter. Pop, pop. Yeah. Han taking two more stress. But I think you're right. Out of all the ships on Thomas's Fine. side, Han is the most uh, flexible okay. yeah. when it comes to stress. And here's the thing. That protects Wedge mm -hmm. a lot. That was huge, taking that Interceptor off, because now Wedge is only going to be taking a Rack Shot. It's range one, but this means that Wedge's survivability just went up a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay, one hit. One is going to be turned into a crit. Got the reroll from Sloan. Didn't get a conversion there. Hit nope. crit. Yeah, so Wedge has a shot for sure here. You need Squiggles. See, Needs it. Needs one squiggle and hope that that crit is not a. Oh no, sorry. There is there is no conversion there. No conversion on uh oh, he's not on rack's ability rack because the reinforces reinforced. it was uh was not uh, was in the back. Oh, I couldn't see. Not You're in the front. Correct. Yep, absolutely it was in the back. Correct. So wedge will evade that. And Jake gonna take one off of rack here. Oh nope, no, it's range three. Range three. So. Still gets one, I believe. Yep. First first blood on rack. Because the reinforce doesn't stop that. Exactly. To a minimum. Yeah. Minimum of one. Now, if you rolled an evade there, that'd be different. Yep. But, I mean, this this round, without a doubt, you have to admit Dion just swung Thomas's direction in his favor. You Took out an interceptor, still has wedge. You'd be correct. <laughs> And the, and the tide has swelled in one direction, for sure. Yeah. Just getting another round out of Wedge is huge. It's just absolutely incredible. Like, he'll be able to... I Will he be able to... I think he... he sh we might be able to clear that stress. It depends on where Rack ends up before he moves, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, things are looking catch his way for sure right now. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Whew. Computer did something really sketch. Really sketch for a second. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I had, I had something blinking, not supposed to be blinking, and then it was fine. All right. Two straight outside this of Death Troopers. This is going to be great because Jake's ability um, is going to, I mean, Jake's going to get that focus now. He won't be able to, Han won't be able to take a focus action because mm -hmm. his ability says you may choose a friendly ship at range zero to one. That ship may perform a focus action, but Jake can use it on himself if he wants to, to focus. So he'll barrel roll and more than likely give himself a focus here. Yep. Excellent. 
Jake is just so solid, a really great rebel piece, continually to pop up in all kinds of rebel lists and he, rewards good flying. Well, he he's he's the he's the best A-wing. It's just without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. All right, and here's a three hard aggressive with with wedge saying, "You know what? I don't care. I don't care about no stress." If he's going to die, he wants to get a really good parting shot on Rack. Which, I mean, is fine. And Han should be able to... If he wants to, he can cane in off of stress. I don't think he's going to. So who's he going to go after here? Doesn't have the bullseye, which means I think this is an easy choice to just take the range one at rack. Yep. I mean, you have the reinforce oh, on. No, no, refuses. So refuses? I'm, I'm going I'm going at the alpha. Yeah, trying to get some damage on that alpha. Okay. I mean, Ketch has been consistently one of the best online players, so I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, all right, I believe you. I love this Dion token down here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> can we get can we get those, please? <laughs> so two going in. Two hits and a focus. This interceptor does have a focus token. Not gonna be able to spend it. Takes a damage. What that was not obstructed? I thought that was obstructed. Was it? I, I thought it was. I could be wrong. Uh thought wedge. That was an obstructed shot. Uh it was obstructed. You were correct. So he should get another die because it would have been four down to three, right? Yeah, was I it could... range was it range one? Let's just double check. No, I don't think it was range one. I could no. be wrong. Yep. Do we call it past now? Uh no, we can it can still fix it. Just one second. Yeah, you could still roll one die. Yeah. Like one extra die to get that damage back potentially. Yeah, because you didn't have crack shot. Well, they're they're moving so fast. Yeah. Oh no no never mind. No, it could have been chosen. Oh, I didn't understand that. Yeah. Never mind. I didn't realize they were parallel. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't. I mean, I trust the players. I just wasn't no, sure. Yeah. I, I actually, I saw, I saw the big obstructed word too. I'm sorry. Yeah. The, the wording is a is a little 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 clunky. There has multiple closest points and can be chosen to be obstructed at range two. Okay. So he I chose not obstructed. It's interesting because from the angle I'm even looking at it at, it looks like that no point was unobstructed, but I guess uh, if I get it Trust down the math, man. The Trust level, the math. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. One hit, two focuses. Reroll. Spend using the ability change into a crit. Pop, pop. I think that's it for Wedge. Yeah, I think Wedge is toast. Yep. I Absolutely. really like toast. Toast is good. <laughs> what about pickle toast? How dare you? How have ruined toast for you forever. <sighs> Next time you put toast in your mouth, you're gonna picture it with pickles, and it's gonna ruin the experience for you. Why we? Why I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> why would you hurt me? <laughs> Devin's gonna bring avocado toast, but that green won't be avocado; it'll just be mushed up pickles. <laughs> All right, Jake, one hit versus this interceptor. Interceptor still has two hole, hasn't should given up half. Fine. Yep, good. should be fine. I think Catch is totally fine with the exchange he's had so far. Still has a full Han Solo. Jake's at half, which is not ideal, <laughs> but you're still okay with that. Now, if you're Steve, though, you have to feel good that Rack is full. Yeah, one, yes. Absolutely. I'm I'm honestly really surprised that Wedge went after the interceptor and didn't try to pump some damage into Rack. But I guess when Wedge is your best shot to like maybe pump do some damage on it, and Jake has a shot there too, that makes sense. You know, you get those double shots. But we know how hard it can be to get damage through on on Rack, right? 
And by hard, I mean over time. Over like time, yeah. Time. I mean, it's just it's it's so much health. It's so yeah. much health that uh, if you don't have consistent shots, you you can almost end up being surprised. Being like, wait, exactly. I haven't gotten half points. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's pretty it's it, it it can make you sad real fast. Let's just put it that way. That being said, I think one v one if it's Rack versus Han in the end game, that's a, a win for Han. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, that's definitely. I mean, at this at this point, it is you have the defensive rerolls. I think that's really the thing that makes the big difference is you 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 have these defensive rerolls that are just really really good. Yeah, um, absolutely. You get to you get multiple chances to do it, and at most, rack does have the reinforce, but um, just you got to look at that pacing. Keep keep paying attention to those half points. Trick shot also absolutely massive for yeah. uh, for Han. For sure. No doubt. And now Jake starting to, starting to make some moves here. Has a focus token. And Rack, I mean, you, you don't have a shot on Han this turn because your arc is front back, so probably going to be taking some shots on Jake. Jake is already at half points. And Han making that turn, staying out of arc. Yeah. Han doing what he does. He does best. Just yeah. Stay. Han's great. He, you know that big base I six. And here we go. The, he has a trick shot. Has that angle. Oh, it's so good. It's very very good. Let's see what he does. Check no, range one for an obstacle. No, no. <laughs> in that perfect spot. No in obstacle. In the perfect pocket. Doesn't need it, it looks like. Oh, he didn't, does not have a focus, right? Spends He's got the force. The force. The force. So hit still really good. Yep. Still excellent. Rolls it. One so squiggle. More blood on rack. Two more shields off. And that interceptor's not going to have a shot. All right, here we go. Range two. And took a target lock. Rerolling both. Going to be putting uh, damage through there. Wow. One. Jake at one health remaining. Mm hmm. Jake, Jake, Jake. Now, I think Jake's job, right, as as Han continues to to make these turns around the board, is is to be a distraction. Every turn that you're shooting at Jake, it's that same rack problem. Uh, Han is is continuing to pelt rack with shots. Yep. He's going to be able to get consistent damage, um, even with. Jake dying most likely this upcoming turn. Um, One less shot on Han. That's it's a right. Damage race. Right? And you're about exactly, and you're about to probably get past Rax shields into that juicy, juicy hole, and uh, th then it's exactly what you said, Ryan. It becomes the damage race. Who who's going to get there first? And they both have tons of modifiers. I mean, re reinforce. Okay, I like this. I actually really like this. We're getting the um, the rotate using Agile yep. Gunner during the end phase. Yep. You may rotate your turret indicator. Yep. On Rack, this is this is Rack preparing preparing to face off against Han. Absolutely, got to be ready for it. He needs to be able to 
have a shot at guess, and getting some damage on Han. And man, much of that is keeping this interceptor alive. Mm -hmm. Because if he can, you know, that interceptor is going to be crucial to this play. He needs that extra three die gun. All right, looks like we're almost there. And Jake, five straight getting out of here saying, no, thank you. Yeah, he wants out. <laughs> he wants out, dog. <laughs> He's opting out of his contract. I have fought bravely, bravely for, for the Republic. I'm out. He has a pension, too, that he needs to <laughs> he's keep an eye on. Now, of course, with that five straight, with the five straight, it uh, it puts it so that Rack cannot shoot Jake. No. Nope. And neither can that interceptor. All right, we're going about to we're going about to start this dosi do around the rock. Here we go. <laughs> Very exciting. First shot, Han, two crits. Oh. That hole plating about to get <laughs> popped open. Let's see if one. he can roll one evade. Nope. It's going to get reduced to one. Because of the reinforce, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So no crit there. And Rack on the way back is going to be able to change one to a crit using his ability. Han exactly. gets a couple of turns, uh, opportunities here to roll these dice. Just needs one squiggle and got it. Hate to see that from Rack, though. You must do what you must do. Bam. Bam. So, yeah, I, th I think we're, we're in that situation you were talking about, Ryan. We're, we're entering that damage race between Rack and, uh, and Han. And Han is just a better broadsider than Rack is. He, he can just be more consistent with the rerolls. No question. Uh, Rack has a little more health right now. Um, well, starts with a little more health. Doesn't have more health right now. But, yeah, it's uh, an uphill battle for Steve right now, unless he can get that Interceptor into the game a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, at the end of this round, uh, we are going to be giving you guys that preview of the Flight Club Championships. So we'll talk about your different ways to qualify. We'll give Ryan an opportunity to poke some questions. Uh, he'll, he'll be the interviewer of the people. That's me. Yep. And uh, we'll try to get some questions answered as we roll into our sixth and final round for the night. But super excited to share everything. Now, if you if you are a patron, you've gotten a couple of previews. I've posted them in the Patreon only uh, channels on our Discord. A couple of things. There are some there's some new stuff to talk about though. We're also going to be talking about when tickets will go on sale for the Flight Club Championship. Not today. <laughs> Very excited about that, Dion. It should be good. Am I able to commentate a bit on that with you? Oh, yo, man. This, this is going to be a little... You're going to see. Yes. Yeah. As, and I'm excited. This is going to be... It's, yeah. We're going to get weird. <laughs> it's going to be me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Wedge, uh, Wedge, we'll go ahead and get him off of the overlay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Thank you, Emerald Beacon. Just so you guys know, on my my personal monitor, I don't have the the overlay on there. It's on a separate screen. So if I don't I don't notice the not changing right away, it's not because I didn't see it. It's because I literally don't see it unless I turn my head. 
All right, Jake. Uh, oh, Rack does not get out of range. This is huge. Oh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. I, man, I'd like to play from Steve. Trap, yeah. trap Jake, and see if you can avoid a turn of being being shot. Not going to happen. Han continuing no, the onslaught. Another shot that he's going to. Wow. Because ideally, ideally, with that move, you would have been able to get away from two turns of shots. But now you you probably get away with uh, maybe one. One crit. Spends a lock. One hit, one crit. Wow. Nothing. And the action on rack was not reinforced, right? I don't see the reinforced token there. So hit so. in a crit, and we got a council fire. Ah, it was a rotate action. Yep, so that you can shoot Jake. That makes sense. Exactly, yeah. Here's the roll for the council fire. Takes another damage. Rack starting to burn up down to nine hull. All right, our nine hull rack firing at Jake, who has only one hull. One hit only. Squiggles out of it. All right, so Council Fire is, uh, uh, no, by the way, Council Fire is not fixed yet. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll head over to the Patreon cam so that you guys can can get a look here at the Council Fire card, because maybe some people uh, don't remember here. But Council Fire says, before you engage, roll one attack die on a hit, suffer one damage. It requires an action to actually get it flipped over. You need that action. So even if you you could you could suffer infinite damage till you die, unless you put out the fire. You got to put out the fire. It's not going to go away. Got to put it out. I didn't start <laughs> the fire. It's been always burning. Nice. So and I'm sorry. I did I did say the number incorrectly. I forgot about the 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 hole upgrade. So going into it, we had 13 hole on rack. He has three cards, so down to 10 hole there. <laughs> I like it. We're talking about the game. I switched to a, can uh, a scene that has my face on it, and people go, where did his hair go? <laughs> the hair. The hair. Who's got the most hair? All right. We got the boost in. Jake. Jake has been living, doing his job, Just facing doing down the imps. Can. Look at him, just the glory of Pharrell. <laughs> what you gonna do? One hard. Now Han's gonna be coming in hot. I'm, I'm expecting a uh, pretty hard turn. Remember, Han don't care about that debris. You just turn through it. It's fine. Sure doesn't. He's fine. Doesn't care. No big deal catch taking the barrel roll they're hoping to get a block got it only taking a shot from the interceptor wow. excellent now remember with the jake ability was able to pick up a focus after uh, with that barrel roll no stress associated with that that dial is completely open next turn and we're just seeing some really really strong flying from catch uh, thomas on the left with these rebels just yep. being a nuisance with jake like Jake is 40 points that is heavy lifting so much right now. Just burning clock. Um, Jake will get a shot on that interceptor too. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's going to be, he could, I mean, he could do damage on it, especially if Han strips a token. So we did get the boost there. It's going to have range continuing into shot. rack. Yeah. Just he could fire that interceptor though if he wants to get two shots on it to try and take it out. Now yeah, I think he's debating it. Steve did have an opportunity to trigger Dauntless. Yeah. All right. Um, didn't. Might be because he doesn't want the stress for the upcoming turns. Could be very much. Hit crit coming from Han. Let's see. What's he decide here? Does he reroll everything? Oh, he's leaving it. 
Yeah. Going into the interceptor, oh. forcing forcing Steve to spend the focus, lowering Huge. your chances of finishing Jake this turn. Or they were, you know, not taking damage from Jake as well. <laughs> All the dice. Oh, did Jake? So. All right, Who's firing right now? This is the interceptor. One hit. Has this. Uh, yeah, swarm tactics to up right now. By the way. Ah, swarm tactics. Got it. Yeah, he's swarm tactics up, so he'll fire before Jake goes, right? Yep, but, but still crucial. Being able to spend that, uh, being forced to spend that focus on Han, absolutely Big. massive because it could have been three hits. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Now, Rack does barely clip the back there. Going to be rolling. Only one hit. And one That's evade fine. from Han. Now Jake gets a shot at this interceptor. And let's see. Let's see if he ends up doing anything. Not a strong shot, but, I mean, he's got two die in focus versus three unmodded. So there's possibility here for sure. Yeah, guys, I, I, I know the council fire. We're going to let them get to the end here just because they're moving kind of fast. One moment, please. Yeah, so one there. And now you can mention the console fire, probably. Y yep. And there you go. That... Go ahead, make it big. Put it on the ship. Make it, make it, make it chunky, Nick. And give it a little ping. <laughs> yep, there it is. They're going to go ahead and roll. And he'll take another damage. Takes another damage there. In some ways, you can consider that uh damage jake did for the block yeah exactly bonus damage i mean yeah catch catch right now the score doesn't show it but catch right now is in a very commanding position uh, absolutely he just he keep whittling down on uh on rack you are now how much health does this thing have total 16 17 so you need to do uh eight eight damage not you do nine no math brain nine oh my goodness four five yeah you do need one more card to get half points you need nine damage oof that is a chonky boy <laughs> that's a yeah it's a lot man absolutely another five straight here from jake taking the barrel roll give himself a focus Decisions, decisions here. I see a ping on Jake. So gonna clear, he cleared the council fires. Like, I have taken two damage from this. Get it out of yeah, my I life. Not, I, I get it out. Get it out. <laughs> Put that console fire out. And Han has range to everybody, even a trick shot going into Rack. Going into it. I mean, at, at this point, this might be an exercise in just finishing you know, finishing strong. Catch does need to continue making those uh, correct decisions. Playing strong. Three hits. I think you just hold on to that. Spend the target lock because you got it. No conversion there. Well, that's going to be a few. Oh, got a couple squiggles there. Only one damage. Wow. All right. Now, Rack going into hit crit. I think this is into Han, right? Looks that way, right? Safe. Fun walk calling out catch there says every bet against catch outside of the finals are regrettable bets. <laughs> 
couple people couple people uh wishing they had gone rebel instead of empire i mean that's the fun of it right is is just taking a guess all you got is a couple of names and some lists and you got to see how it plays out and right now catch Ketz is showing uh, a consistency, and he's also, you know, Ryan, we talk about this a lot on the podcast, yep. is using the fa your familiarity with a certain list, that can give you an advantage. Catch has been flying a version of this list for a while now in a, in a couple of our events. So, you know, he has quite a few practice games with it. So he's been in a lot of situations, a, a lot of, of, of gameplay tournament like situations where he's just working on that decision making and that's the advantage of being able to play with the squad over and over is the more opportunities you have to make hard decisions with your squad the better you will perform in uh higher pressure situations yeah the more comfortable that you're gonna be mm -hmm. absolutely And now, yeah, Rack is down to half health. We'll get that down to eight hull here in a second. You're going to see those points shift bigly with a half of the 109, 106 points being shifted over here in a moment. All right. So Jake moving. Yeah, and Dion... It, it does suck when you get to this point in the game, right? If you are, you know, down like this and you sort of feel like you're playing through the motions. Mm -hmm. um, but it's worth noting that there's still two ships on the board here. Yep. Um, there's that in that three gun interceptor and rack. And so if he can just get into like an, a decent position, he can do his best to maybe pump some damage into Han. Uh, and that MOV still matters for this tournament, too. These guys are undefeated up until this point, right? Uh, yeah, they're doing really well. So here yeah, we go. Han so... going into uh, into Rack. Remember, Rack has eight hull, not nine at the moment. We'll find out after this uh, how much more hull is going to be eaten out of that. One hit, two focuses. Spending the target lock. And remember, Han's ability is not considered a reroll. Um, hit, hit, crit. Has a defensive wow. die. So takes hit crit. It's going to be going down a total of three from the overlay. So we're going to be down to six. Then you can and see Jake, those half uh, points. Han, Han's still untouched. It's really yeah. uphill now. Han is the end game in, uh, in yeah. Catch's list. And I, I think that no doubt. In, in the early game, if the... I mean, maybe Steven has a better chance if he would have gone more aggressive into uh, into Han rather than into into Wedge. I think I'm inclined to agree there, but it's hard to pin him down, too. Right. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you go really tough on Han and he just decides, nah, I'm not in for this game. <laughs> like, nah, I'm good, man. All right. The the crit on. Um, the crit on rack, by the way, is a wounded pilot. For those of us who miss it there, wounded pilot, after you perform an action, roll an attack, die on a hit or crit, take a stress. I mean, that's just doubling down on the feels bad for uh, for Steven as he goes into here because he needs, he needs his actions in order to continue to do damage. Dion. Yep. Now that we have a lull, I want to ask you a question. Yes, I do love you, but continue. Well, yes, but you know who else we love? Our family members. Yeah, and I do. There's, there's a holiday coming up, you know? There, there is. It's it's called the holidays. <laughs> and yes, I during the holidays, there's a lot of gifts being exchanged. And you know what would make a great gift for that special someone out there? Hmm. A, a little friend. And I like to call him Freddy Focus. <laughs> And Freddy Focus needs a home. He's all made out of acrylic in mass by Curled Pod Creatives. And I think Freddy Focus would really like to be gifted this holiday season to that special someone. Imagine that person in your life, the one you dedicated all that time to opening that that box. You know, you could put it in a ring box, maybe get on your knee and <laughs> open it up and show a little acrylic focus token in there. It's going to make them so happy. That, that's my recommendation coming from the heart get a freddy focus from curled pod creatives give it to that special someone and it'll be a home run 
Like that's a Ryan Farmer guarantee. <laughs> and you can get 20% off by using promo code course on 2020. What a bargain. That's right. <laughs> and we got hit crit here. Gets the reroll. Hit hit crit. Nothing there. Rough. Oof. And a direct Rack, hit. Yeah, Rack really wants that Freddy focus. Marsh Glyph, you know you loved it. Don't act, don't act like you didn't like it. You loved it. So looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards so far. That means we got three left on rack. Three, oh my goodness. Ooh, that's the first Ooh. good first good roll yeah, against finally. Han here. Han Han? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the insulting one shield. Oh my god. Plinking away. Plinking away. Hit, oh, hit, okay. This is interesting. Is so he willing more to take one on. or is he going to do it again? He's he going to do it. Again. He's, he's, like, he's like, I get, I might get natties. All right. So it does take hit, hit, crit. Had the focus. Or sorry, had the force. So was it willing to take the, the risk there? Yeah. Takes three shields. So three shields off Han, like, obviously you wish you had gotten that sooner, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, that Interceptor is still worth less than... Oh, that Interceptor's not a half yet, so there's mm -hmm. a reality where maybe you get a crazy sequence of crits with the Interceptor and Rack and all of them stay alive and you kill Han. I mean, doubtful, but Han is in the corner of the board where he doesn't like to be. Yep. Yeah, and you know, uh, Ali, Ali, our, our world champion, uh, says, imagine if he had been shooting the, the initiative one at Han the last three turns. I mean, yeah, if if that uh, interceptor would have been as part part of the fight this could be a completely different story we're talking about right now i mean that three gun yep i mean the three three attack dice can make a huge difference yeah yeah can do sorry my mic cut out for a hot second there Th that's all right um yeah. yeah uh those three dice on those interceptors, I think people forget about. And I think alphas should probably see more play than they actually get right now. But obviously they, uh, in this squad in particular, I'd be willing to bet Steve still has a really good shot after this. Of uh, He's undefeated at this point, right? So even with this loss, yep. he can win one more. He could get his vengeance in the top, top cut, potentially. All right, Han taking the two turn. Yep. Benthic two turn. <laughs> looking, looking to put the nail in the coffin on rack. That is he range wants, one, four dice. He wants it all. He want he wants Rack's pension. He wants his wife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll only two hits. Is he willing to do do the do it? No, you do it. Roll it all. Reroll it all. Yep. I mean, that's that's below average when it comes to the non. Oh, oh for oof. All right. So going to be two hits. Yeah. Either way, was there a reinforcing play there? Yeah, there is. There's one. Uh, oh, but he's flanking him. He's flanking he's him. He's flanking so him. Yep. So, so down to one. one left. Yep. Barack will get a real juicy shot back. Range one. Hit, hit, crit. Oof. Very nice. Has the lock. Because of the Makes stress. Makes another crit with the reinforce. And the oh, reinforce the does yeah, trigger the rack's ability does trigger here. The flanking doesn't matter. Han's gonna be taking all of that unless he oh, rolls the squiggle here. He got yep. it. Two so, shields and a crit. Yeah, exactly. So he's down to seven now. That's a panic, panic. pilot. It's That's okay. A Han's fine. Couple more stress. The thing that matters with that panic pilot is that that is it that is activating Sloan. 
So you gotta gotta watch out. That means that that interceptor could have some rerolls live in the next coming turns. Well, as long as Sloan's still alive, she's on a one-hole ship. <laughs> Run fast. And then Jake's coming in to finish it off. Yep. Jake's in that five straight position. You may you may launch when ready. Yeah, exactly, right? Looks like dials are getting set pretty quick. Where or oh where? I mean, Han is probably just one forwarding, maybe one banking. Yeah. Jake could squeak in for the winning shot. Absolutely a possibility there. And I think Jake still has not used his crack shot. I has believe it's still active as well. Isofane, um, I, I will say, looking at the, you're asking how many points for donating uh, or for, for subbing. Uh, we, we tested it. You don't get extra... You don't get extra points for gifting subs. It's just the like, the the. There's act no of pay to win in this game. There is no pay to win. Yeah. There's watch to win, but no pay to win. <laughs> Felsepto, thank you so much. Han, bring he it. He wants it. He's gonna finish rack off right here. No death troopers. You see Steve staying disciplined. I mean, they both have a good record. So Steve staying on his toes. He knows he still has a chance to make the cut tomorrow. He's blanks in the blanks, but he's not going to get it. I'll do it. It's two. Pop. Nothing that uh, he can do about it. And that's at initiative six. So goodbye, Rack. Can the alpha, the two hole alpha, have the dream? Get that half points, little alpha. Two? Han has two dice, range three. Reroll it all. Yep. yep. Got and then one. Force. Yeah. So tough, man. So tough. I mean, the, the MOV does matter, so I, I definitely see Steve trying to play this out until he can get those half points. Oh, no question. You have to. And for anybody, uh, let's 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 take a second and talk about MOV because I know that there's different levels of competitiveness in our chat. So MOV is margin of victory. You earn points for every point that you destroy of your opponent and every point of your ships that are still left alive. Okay, there's essentially 400 points worth of points that get tossed around between the uh, the two you guys, uh, two players, and that is the first tiebreaker in most tournaments some tournaments don't don't determine so for instance we could have done the cut uh as uh you had to have a certain record in order to get to the cut that's very common with uh with a custom structure the ffg advanced structure says top 32 so that is after you get to the five and ones once you reach to the four and twos whoever has that highest margin of victory who's earned those most number of points and held on to the most number of points would be higher ranked on the ladder Han does end up bumping into Jake. Honestly, you still got a shot. That means two yep. shot right now. Here we go. Range two into the alpha. The alpha does have a focus. Going to have to yep. survive two shots in order to get an opportunity to get that half points. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Shot number one. This is going to be a Han reroll for sure. Uh, nope. He says, nah, I got the force. It's fine. <laughs> That is one evade. This has a focus there. Could spend. Nope. Gonna take the damage. Yeah, interesting. Jake Jake needs to absolutely whiff here. Remember, that crack shot's live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crack shot's live. Need more than one result? No, he's nope. dead. He's gone. Crack. Half points. 
on, uh, sorry, so he's not gone, excuse me, half points now on that red interceptor. Oh, no, mm -hmm. he, he, we just didn't do it on the overlay. Yep, he gone. He, he gone. gone, that's it. He did it. Congratulations, Thomas, winning that game, 200 to 83, uh, being able to take out the decimator. All right, let's go ahead. We got 10 minutes left. We're going to do giveaways, and we're going to talk about the upcoming Flight Club.